Let's go here on my location up away and uh, I wanted to take uh, this podcast to really talk about dreams. Dreams, striving for them, changing them, and dream killers. And all the time we talk about, a lot of stuff that we've been talking about late, recently on the podcast, um, different things to help you become successful. And all those things are very good, but you've got to have a focal point that you start from. And dreams are that focal point. And visionary takes your dream and puts it to action. So if you have a vision, it takes your dream, starts to put it to action because you're, you're consciously thinking about what that dream is. But when you think about dreams, okay, and actions, you have to remember that it all starts with what you're dreaming about. And when you listen to what people, other people talk about and they say uh, dreams are wishes and dreams are things that, um, you know, aren't attainable. If you fall short of them, you still did well. Can't adjust your dreams. You got to focus on one dream. Well, I say that's not all true. I would say most of that's not true. Dreams are something that you continually envision happening. And you could have multiple dreams within your personal life, within your professional life. You could have multiple dreams. I think when people say that you can only tackle one thing at a time, I think those people have either decided that they have no abilities and they don't want to have a, a life that can involve happiness and, and attaining their success, or they're in turn limiting themselves. With dreams, you have to have a vision for each thing that you're dreaming. You have to begin to understand where you want your world to go, what you want your vision to be, and ultimately, the success comes from your ability to translate those dreams in a step-by-step process, day-by-day process, eventually bringing reality to those dreams. Personally, as a young person, my whole thing was about becoming a scholarship football player. And I always think back to that time period when I was young and how even though I did a lot of different things in my life, each part built to that component. And when I reached that component and started to, it took me time to refocus my dream to a new dream because I actually accomplished that dream. So that's another thing that you have to understand is that once you accomplish your dream, you need to figure out new dreams and, and set those dreams in motion. And how do you get dreams? Well, I mean, for me, amazingly, one of the best things that I've found that gets dreams to come to your head in a process that you can start to put things together is when you personally take time to think. A lot of it is when you're sleeping. When I first wake up, there's always something that comes to my mind. I put it down in my iPhone or I write it down about something that I might have as a new dream. Might have as a new dream. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to act on it. But you start to put those things together and you're consciously thinking about it. I have notebooks and notes in my phone. So notebooks written down and notes in my phone of dreams and things I'd like to accomplish, many of which I may never, ever get to. And many of which, when I look back, without even having done anything after writing it down, as far as next steps, because it starts to get planted in your subconsciousness, some of those dreams have happened. Dreams beset with goals, dreams beset with vision, Little tidbits. You don't have to go and write down a novel as to what you want to happen. But you should write down three or four words in a note. 
of that dream that you have that you want to make a reality. I'm currently doing a 30 day tackling different parks around my county and actually I'm on vacation so I have to tackle it away too. But I thought to myself, I woke up and I said, this is what my dream is for the near term 30 days. Let's accomplish that. For the football team I coached, I have a vision and a dream to win a state championship. Let's take steps to, to accomplish that. For my business, I set goals and dreams of different levels. Okay, how much revenue we wanna bring in each day. And each day I tackle those dreams and understand how I can get those dreams and visions better. Altering dreams, changing what you thought was your dream into a new dream is very important. There is nothing static in life and there is nothing worse than see people pursuing a dream that no longer they care about. Just pivot and adjust your dream. When you start to do those things, you start to get into a whole other realm within yourself that every day becomes something that you can truly enjoy. You can dream about more time with your family. You can dream about doing something different with your life. You could dream about walking in the woods and overcoming your fear of going in the woods. There's many, many different things that you could do within your dreams. Now, dreams without vision, dreams without goals, dreams without actions, dreams without consistency, you'll never accomplish those dreams. So once you have that dream, you go and you got to take that vision, put that to reality. You have to be consistent in everything you do. You have to have goals. They could be one goal, but you, can have, you have to have goals and start to act on them. And the action part is critical. And it's baby steps. It's one step forward every single day. It's another step forward every single day. It's another step forward until you piece by piece by piece. And you don't even look at say, here I am at the destination. You go past your destination because your dream is new and you're on to the next dream. And that's how you go and every single day live out your dreams. Coach Human signing off.